Hello and welcome back to my channel, Miami Star Tarot. I am doing a love reading for, it's really a, a timeless reading, but I am calling it for the rest of July 2020. And this reading is for Aquarius. And I am going to be using the Tarot Mucha cards. I like to show the cards that I use and give the name in case you are tarot readers as well and you love the cards. I bought mine on Amazon. I am also going to be using my Romance Angels Oracles to help out with the reading. And we will see what happens with Aquarius, okay? I will start by shuffling the Romance Oracles and hope that I get a card I have not seen before. I just got a new card for Capricorns that I've never seen before. Oops, this one changed. All right, I'm not gonna take it though. I'm gonna keep shuffling. So Aquarius, what is happening with you for the rest of July or Timeless of July 2020? What is happening in love? All right. Unrequited love. All right, that's not a card that we want to get. This is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. All right, let's see who's feeling that way, you or them. Okay, okay, Aquarius, that is not the card that I like to pull in a love reading, but you know what, sometimes it happens. Let's find out, is it you or is it them? Right. I will do a few shuffles here. What is going on with Aquarius? Why is this unrequited love? Is it not enough attraction and chemistry? Or do you, are you feeling that? Are you feeling that way but it's not true? Because it could also be that you feel that, that maybe they don't like you back. That could be it too just to give it a little more positive spin, Aquarius, in case you are deeply, madly in love with somebody and this disappoints you. You know, it could also be that you're not sure about them, that you feel it's unrequited, that you feel that they don't like you back. All right, what is going on with Aquarius? What is going on with Aquarius? Do one more shuffle, because I really feel like I need Examples here. This is my fourth reading that I've done in a row, so just need to get these cards to shuffle. It's my fourth and my last for today, so. I'm sure. Sorry, Aquarius. I'm going to keep going for a little bit here. I just I feel the energy is not aligned right now with the cards. The last one is always in need of some very, very good shuffles. Okay, this will be the last one. Where, oops, that one's not going to count. I don't think a prayer is reading. <laughs> it's not letting me read. It's, oh my goodness. Okay, I need, sorry, Aquarius does not want to express how they feel. Here we go. Very typical of Aquarius, too. All right, here we go. The current mood where you are, aha, you are in love. It's causing you a little anxiety, Aquarius. That's your obstacle. Um, you want to move forward, but you don't know what direction to go. That's in your, um, kind of your future-ish, it's not yours yet, but it looks like you have a little bit of a hesitation uh, not hesitation, sorry. Uh, well, you don't know if you can move ahead or not. So we'll, we'll pull some other cards, maybe a clarifier. All right, so what you have right now is your home. The tower is falling apart. I don't know. Your past, you got um, the emperor. And for your future, you have the page of cups. All right. Your underlying energy is, this is the Page of Pentacles. 
okay? So you have two pages, two offerings, two messages coming forward. You want to get your um, point across. You want to express yourself. You are coming, and you're not exactly in a hurry to do this, but I feel like there is a message that you want to get across. Okay. And I feel like the, pay, the the pentacle cards are cards of security. They're cards of um, longevity. They're not as quick. They're not, it, like you're not trying to rush in, but you, you definitely have security reasons. Like you, you it's, it's the pentacles because I feel that you are being very cautious, okay? And you are not a person that takes a relationship very lightly. And so I feel like the the page of pentacles is the right pentacles to be there because I feel like whatever it is that you're feeling in love you are you want to make sure that it's it's the right decision and you do it the right way okay now you do have some interesting cards here Aquarius you have as your overall energy as the 10 of cups and the 10 of cups is a beautiful card, okay? And it encompasses family, love, happiness, um, sexuality, um, just every, everything imaginable under the sun that can make you very, very happy. It is like the best ending you can possibly have. And like most of us out there, Aquarius, it looks like you want happiness, okay? You want to feel in love and you want to feel like you have it all. Okay, and that's on your mind and it's very important to you. However, the obstacle is is that you are feeling anxiety right now and you're not you're not feeling you have a nine of swords. You're not feeling like you're in a place where that is happening. Something is lacking in your life right now that is that is able to give you that kind of happiness that you're looking for Aquarius okay and Aquarius is a person that you're, you're very intelligent deep thinkers but I feel like some some Aquarius is not all sometimes can live in their head and they develop a type of idealized type of love and situation that they want to be in and it's hard to reach that sometimes, okay? You're not exactly the most expressive people either. So, I feel like this desire is causing you some anxiety and I'm gonna pull a card because I want to see what, if it, if it kind of narrows down the area of where that is coming from. Okay, and you got the two of uh, wands, which is a decision. A decision that will affect a lot of things in your life you have the wands and this person is holding the world in their hands and I feel that the decision that you need to make to be happy may require you to make a decision that may end up turning your life upside down okay it may change your world just as the card shows okay so the anxiety that you're experiencing is really stemming from I think that you know this is this is a love reading okay I think that you know what or who will make you happy but you're not sure how to get there with this person okay now it says unrequited love it could be that this love is unrequited I am going to pull a clarifier at the end to see because this is the outcome ish sort of future and it shows you giving an offer, like going through with it or possibly going through with it. And I will be pulling one when we get to this one to see if it gives a little bit more information if it's unrequited love. It's not giving me any indication at this point right now that it's unrequited or that it's not. So let's move forward. What we know now is that you have an idealized situation. You want to get there. You think about it a lot. You spend a lot of time thinking about it. Although I'm pretty sure that um, during the day you just kind of go on with your life and you you know you do what you need to do, but there there, in order for you to reach what you think is going to be complete happiness in the area of love, 
it's going to require a decision and I think the decision gives you anxiety and this person gives you anxiety in general feeling this way okay because I know Aquariuses don't like to feel a lot of love that not they don't like to feel a lot of love they don't like to express their love okay um, so in the future it's not yours yet but it could be yours is a movement okay if you have your stuff together you I feel can move forward in this and you want to move forward in this but it's really not in your immediate future right now it's something that I'm gonna pull a card the world okay so in order for you to move forward you need to end a chapter in your life okay the world is about completing a cycle okay and in order for you to be able to move forward since you did get the card as a clarifier for the chariot it means that you need to complete the cycle that you're in and whatever cycle it is that you're in if you're in a rut maybe you are in a relationship with somebody else and it'll require you to end that relationship before you can move toward the new relationship um, it could also be to end a chapter in your life such as maybe having negative feelings like maybe you need to stop that okay you need to get rid of those feelings in order for you to be able to move forward okay I know that you are afraid right now it, you have the tower of it's another major arcana so you have two major arcanas in your possible future what could be yours you could move forward if you end this chapter you have a major arcana for how you're where you are right now and what is yours and right now I feel like mentally your mind because you are a very mind oriented person I feel like in your mind some things are falling apart okay and in order for you to be able to find that happiness you need to be able to acknowledge what's going on and accept it okay and whatever it is I am going to pull another clarifier card judgment you got you have another major arcana you are afraid of judgment to move forward with this relationship and it could simply be that if you are in another relationship right now you're just torn with what other people are going to think it could also be that you feel that the relationship is unrequited you are possibly thinking a lot about this person and it's tearing you apart that you feel like you can't move forward with them and the decision that you have to make to be with this person I feel that you feel judgment from them like maybe they're they're going to judge you if you say something to them okay you're feeling unrequited love I don't know if it is or not we'll find out hopefully at the end but I feel like you, you, you are feeling that you don't want to be judged you don't want to be rejected you don't want this person to say oh well you have feelings for me well sorry I don't have them for you when you've already given up the situation that you're in okay and those it's for those of you who are, are in a relationship if you are single it could simply just mean that you're not feeling confident enough to approach this person Aquarius okay um, because I, it looks to me like you're afraid of judgment um, and you you're you're possibly worried that they're not going to like you or pass judgment on you if you decide to let them know how you feel now in the past you do have the Emperor the Emperor is a very strident personality it is a person that could be very fatherly but yet at the same time this person is extremely intense and this person can come off as being sometimes rude and like a hard ass and it may so the beauty of the past because you know sometimes I think like and people say what does the past have to do with what's going currently happening a lot of times the card that comes out in your recent past or your past in general affects your future and your present okay and that's the beauty of this of this position of this card is that this could be telling you hey you you come off as a strident hard ass and that may be pushing the person that you have your eye on away because you are not coming off as the warmest person so the unrequited card here I think makes a lot of sense if we're looking at your past how you have been how you could be viewed as this person maybe feels that you are not into them because of the way that you kind of tend to show yourself sometimes okay if you're strident 
in your demeanor with them, they may think, oh, well, and if, if they have feelings for you, they may not want to show it because of that, okay? Or if this person is completely not into you because you just seem like a very harsh person, okay? So I'm going to move into the future, which is kind of like the outcome. I am going to pull a clarifier because it's almost suggesting, it, it's both suggesting, I mean, the, the over, the, uh, the underlying message in this whole reading is suggesting that you approach this person and communicate. You bring the message, okay? This one is the message and it's clearly, there. it's the cup and it's love. It is clearly indicating to move forward and that's why I wanna pull a clarifier because if it's unrequited love, I don't think this card would be here because it's almost encouraging you to do that, to approach this person, okay? So I am going to pull a card here and you have the five of pentacles which shows and you know in the rider weight this shows two people walking and they look homeless and miserable. This is just simply telling you that good things are there you just don't see them. Okay so I feel that it supports the page of cups because it's saying I know that things don't look good. I know that you're having anxiety. I know that you have a decision to make. I know that your mind is kind of racing a million ways and you're afraid of judgment. And I know that you need to make some changes. And you're feeling all of these things in your head because I think you think more with your head. Although I really think Aquariuses do think with their hearts. They just don't like to admit it. Because we all have feelings, even you Aquarius. That you're feeling inside like there is nothing good to come but all you have to do is open your eyes and look at it with a positive lens and you will see triumph. You're going to see that there's beauty there. What you want is available to you if only you open your eyes and approach it and look for it, okay? Sometimes we only get what we look at, what we see, what we accept, okay? I don't think that this is unrequited because they don't care about you or they don't like you. I think it's unrequited because maybe you just come off as a person that's not interested and or you're not making the choice to approach this person. And you feel like it's unrequited and I feel like they feel like it's their feelings are unrequited as well, Aquarius, okay? My suggestion based on everything that I see here is that you make your offer you take care, first you take care of what needs to be let go of. You make the decision. Show a little bit more of a kinder approach. Approach this person with confidence. Let them know how you feel and I don't think you will be disappointed Aquarius, okay? I say this is an overall good reading and a positive love coming from it. Okay, Aquarius, but it's up to you. All right, so if you like my reading, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and please leave a comment. I would love to know what you think. And thank you for visiting my channel. I really hope that this resonated with some Aquarians out there. I know that it, it cannot possibly um, resonate with everybody out there, okay? But I hope that I did reach some people out there. All right, so thank you for visiting my, my channel, Miami Star Tarot. Bye-bye, Aquarius.